on one hand shri krishna has said nobody can know me he goes on and on saying that it is impossible for you to know me and on the other hand the vedas also say that you must know god you are make it your goal to know him tameva veditva ti mrityu meti nanya pantha vidyate yanay only by knowing god can you cross over this ocean of life and death gyatva devam muchyate sarva pashai these bonds of maya will cut on knowing god and when we go to know god he says nobody can know me so what do you do then so let it be understood in this way that only one personality can know god and that is god himself god alone knows himself and nobody else so everyone else if they are blessed by god's grace if he graces them by his blessings anyone can know him it's not by self effort hence there is a mantra <clears throat> which is in the kathopanishad and also in the mundaka upanishad the same mantra it says nayamatma pravachane na labhyo na medhaya na bahuna shrutena pravachane na labhyo you cannot know god by pravachan swami ji we came to listen to your pravachan so that we can know god so now through the pravachan you listen that like this you cannot know god <laughs> in the pravachan you just get the words na medhaya nor can you know him by your intellect because we discuss the intellect is material and god is divine god is the processor of infinite contradictory attributes at the same time supposing i say take the sanskrit vyanjan the letter k put the a ki matra the a vowel on it put the u vowel on it put the e vowel on it put the a vowel on it and also put the o vowel on it and add the visarga now pronounce it hare how will i pronounce it impossible so god's personality is something like this he is possessing a form and he is also formless he is sitting in our hearts and he is also everywhere he is bigger than the biggest and also smaller than the smallest he is so far that big yogis spend their whole life and at the end of it they don't see his head or feet and he's so close that he is not a hair's breadth away from us because he's inside he is softer than the softest so soft that any soul cries out sincerely he immediately melts and responds and he's so hard during maha pralaya when he dissolves the world and all the souls are doing trahi trahi saying they are crying let them cry he is a, such a mixture of contradictory attributes neither you can describe him in pravachan nor you can understand him with the intellect when bhagwan ram asked vasisht gurudev what is the definition of god vasisht was quiet ram thought he is not heard me uh, gurudev uh, what is the definition of god so ram thought maybe he now needs hearing aids guru ji is increased age gurudev i was asking you what's the definition of god vasisht said beta this quietness itself the answer to your question what answer will i give if i say he is very big then you will say he is also small 
If I say he's very far, you will say he's also close. If I say he's formless, you will see he also has a form. So that kind of God is beyond the intellect. There is only one way to know him. And what is that way? If he himself bestows his grace, then what will happen? He will give his intellect to you. With his intellect, you will know him. So simple. The Kripaluji Maharaj has put this philosophy in one verse. Samaja samaja so sham ko Samaja saka nahi koya Samaja milahi jab sham ki Samaja saka vas so That person who got blessed by God's grace came to know him. That person could be an 80 year old could be a four-year-old Dhruv, five-year-old Prahlad, could be a bird like Jatayu, anyone, whoever received the grace. And without grace, Shat Shastra Veta Nigava Praveena Stathagama Vyakarana Dinishtha Vina Harer Bhagavata Prasadam Janati Ko Bhagavata Antanath Big, big scholars fail. So, <laughs> We will know God by His grace. But to receive the grace, we need to surrender ourselves to Him. That surrender is what attracts the grace. So Kripaluji Maharaj said, Samaj Milahi, when you get His intellect, you will understand Him. Now, the next verse He says, Sham Samaj Se Sham Ko समझ सके सब कोय शाम समझ तब मिल ही जब समझ समर्पित होय When you surrender your intellect, O oh Lord, it is not in my capacity. By your grace I may know you. So when you have surrendered your intellect, God then gives His intellect. And by His grace, anyone can know Him. Once, five-year-old boy was getting restless in the summer vacation. So he was creating a bit of a ruckus at home. And the father realized that my child has got a lot of energy. It's not his fault. I need to channelize him and then all will be well. So put him in some constructive work. The father was reading the Economic Times and that had a map of the world behind it. So the father, he cut off that cover with the map of the world and he said, my child, take a look at this very carefully. You have to memorize all the areas. And once you say it is done, I will then cut the map into umpteen pieces and jumble it all up. It will be a jigsaw puzzle. You will have to reconstruct the map. So he gave it, the boy looked. Within 30 seconds he said, Father, done. So quickly? Yes. Look at it a little more. Father, I've memorized it. The father cut it into various 26 pieces and jumbled them, gave them here. So the boy, he constructed it in two minutes flat. Like the children, those who are expert, you know, with the Rubik's, you cut, 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 cut. So the child made it. Father said, oh my God, you are so intelligent. I knew you were intelligent, the chip of the old block, but I didn't know you were so intelligent. Tell me, how did you do it? The child said, Father, when you gave me the world map, I just happened to flip it over. And out there was a man, there was an advertisement of Mafatlal shootings. So I remembered the man. And when you gave me the pieces to make, I made the man and then turned them over. 
behind the map was the man now here behind the whole world is the lord so if you know the lord you get to know everything yena shrutam shrutam bhavatya matam matam avigyatam vigyatam avijanatam vijanatam right once you have wisdom of god you have wisdom of life you have wisdom about everything else so shri krishna says that when you take shelter of me you will receive my grace and because of my grace you will come to know brahman you will come to know the individual self and the entire field of karmic activities karmaneevadhikaraste ma phale shukadachana ma karma phala hetu bhu ma te sangostva karmani